Welcome back. Um, in our last recording, we had worked with uh, InDesign and Master Pages in putting automatic page numbering in place so that when we click on any of the document pages, the page number corresponds with the page number that it's supposed to be. Now, we do have an issue here. This is a self cover. We're going to saddle stitch the book, which means we're going to staple bind it. And so it's more like a little pamphlet. And the problem with this is um, in bookmaking, we oftentimes do not want the cover to be page one. We may want the page one to actually start further into the publication. So in such a short book, I actually may want page one to start here where this page three falls. So there are some features in InDesign that will allow me to uh, do that. First, I'm going to double click on page one, and I'm going to uh, right click and go down to numbering and section options. I'm going to tell InDesign to have my automatic page numbering in the style of, let's do capital A, B, C, and D. Okay, and you'll see that these numbers will change to letters. There we go. All page numbers are now letters. Now, the reason why I do this is later I'm going to make the third page page one instead of page C. And the reason I am making them A and B is so that when I go to print, I actually can distinguish one section of the book from another. Now, I have double clicked on the third page of the book. This will actually end up being page one. So let me right click on that page in the pages panel. And again, I'm going to go to numbering and section options. This is a little bit different than what I had done before. Um, instead of, of uh, automatic page numbering selected, I'm going to select start page numbering at. And I do want to start with one. Now, instead of style being alphabet, uh, capped alphabet, I'm going to click back on that and go back to regular numbers. One, two, three, four, and so on. And what this is going to do, it's going to change that third page into the document to be page one. And all of the other pages will follow suit. So if you have multiple uh, sections in a publication, such as a book, where you have maybe a, a preface, an index. Um, you know, sometimes you can also play around with, uh, you may have seen books where you see uh, numbering in a style of Roman numerals, like such as in a preface, upper or lowercase and Roman numer numerals. This is how that's done. So, it's kind of nice to know how to manage that back to numbering sections and change that back to the one, two, three order. So what my, what's going to happen here is I'm going to have uh, my cover be page A, my inside front cover is going to be page B. I'm not sure if I'll put my table, actually I don't think my book is going to have a table of contents, but many of us would have table of contents either on uh, the, the page one, the third page in, uh, possibly even on the second page in, page B. Um, and go from there. So this is uh, again a video on how we changed page numbering sections and created a couple of different sections in this book. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find this very useful. Thank you.